But I'll give you the evidence. Are you a Muslim? Are you a Muslim? Are you a Buddhist? Are you an atheist? If we're gonna have a talk, what is your position? Right, you're an atheist. If there is no God, if you're an atheist, if there is no God, that means that there is no right and wrong. Now, do you believe swearing is wrong? You, 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 you agree with swearing? So if I had a five-year-old kid here, you'd swear in front of me. That's atheism for you, folks. That's your atheism for you. That's your gun. Moro's gun. That's atheist. It's game over, bro. If there is a God, if there is, you see, I'm not anti intellectual. I'll debate you any day. I'll talk to you any day. If there is no God, there is no right and wrong. It means you can do what you want. Humans devise right and wrong. Okay. If humans devise right and wrong, some humans, some humans think it's right to rape. So is that right? Right, right. So, so, no, no. You said, bro, you said humans, humans are the ones that make right and wrong, but some humans think that rape's okay, so that doesn't work, bro. Majority said in the time of Hitler, killing the Jews was right, so majority doesn't work. No, the majority in Germany, the majority in Germany said it was right to kill the Jews. Majority don't work. You see, my friend, if you've got a girlfriend, right, and she slept with another guy, and she came to you and looked in your face and said she'd never slept with anybody, would you like that or not like it if she lied to you? Would you like it if your girlfriend slept with somebody and then lied to you? No, he wouldn't. Did you hear that? As an atheist, he would not like it if his girlfriend slept with somebody. He's proved the existence of God. He knows there's right and wrong. Okay? That's the end of the atheist. Anybody else want to debate now? You see, Jesus Christ died on the cross for you. One day you're going to die. One day you're going to pop your clocks. And who's going to save you? Who's going to save you, my friends? Jesus Christ died on that cross for you. There was a girl, she became a prostitute in Puerto Rico. A mum tried to find her, couldn't find her. If anybody wants to ask a question or debate, feel free to. But she couldn't find her, her mum couldn't find her in Puerto Rico. Watch, watch, the, watch there, yeah? Her mum couldn't find her in Puerto Rico. And can I just say, guys, it's really nice of you to stop. And, and God bless you, you're very special. And I respect, whatever you believe, I respect it, yeah? Even though we might disagree. If you're an atheist, I respect you. If you're a Muslim, I respect you. Whatever it is, we respect each other here today. We're not here to make, mock each other. We're here to respect each other. Now, this girl became a prostitute. Her mom went to find her, couldn't find her. So, she left pictures of herself all over Puerto Rico. She came home, her daughter came downstairs with a client because she was a prostitute. She saw a picture of her mom in the toilet. She grabbed the picture, she turned it around, and the handwriting said this of her mom. I don't care what you have done, come home. God says to you today, I don't care what you have done, come home. I died for you, I give my life for you, come home. Come home because one day you're going to die, one day you're going to be in that grave, and one day you're going to be judged. And who's going to save you? Muhammad? Muhammad ain't going to save you, Buddha ain't going to save you, Charles Darwin ain't going to save you, political correctness ain't going to save you. The only person who can save you is him who died for you. Him who shed his blood. Jesus said, I give my life a ransom. Jesus said, the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. He shed his blood. Have you ever lied? When Christ died on the cross, he was being punished for your lies. Have you ever looked at a girl with lust? I have. We've all done it, yeah? Christ died for your lust. He was punished on the cross for your sin. He was the lamb. All right, he wants some more proof. I'll give you some more proof, yeah? In your DNA is information, right? In your DNA, one piece of DNA, listen to this, one piece of DNA has 
Three billion bits of information. More information. Let, let, let me finish. The ins, I, I'll explain. The Encyclopedia Britannica is like many, many volumes. Yeah. In your DNA, one piece of DNA, there is more information in your DNA, one piece of DNA, than all the Encyclopedia Britannica books. Now, we know a mind put the information in all those books. Who put the information in your DNA? Now, now listen to this. Times, times this. One billion times three billion. What's that? One billion times three billion. In your DNA, you have one billion times three billion bits of information. Enough information to stretch from here to the moon. Who put that information there? You've either got two choices, aliens or God. Aliens or God? I go for God. You go for aliens, I go for God. Yeah? God makes more sense than aliens. I ain't seen no alien, I don't know no alien, but I know Jesus. He's in my heart. I know him. He loves me and he loves you today. Yeah? What's that? Right, he said, why does the Pope believe in aliens? The Pope don't believe the Bible. If he believed the Bible, he know that Jesus Christ is the way to believe. He can build the biggest observatory in the world, but the Pope's just a man, bro. The only person that we're to worship and adore is Jesus. The Pope is nothing. The Pope is just a man, okay? He's just a, he's just a geezer who lives in a big house in, in, in Italy. That's all he is. He's, not, he's nothing special. Jesus is special. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the life, yeah? I have had an encounter with Jesus. And the encounter is sweet, my friend. When you've done things wrong and you've made mistakes and you come to know Jesus, he is sweet and he'll forgive you, my friend. What does Jesus feel like? Have you ever had honey? Have you ever had honey? Yeah? Magnify that a thousand times in your heart. It's sweet. Have you ever got drunk? Yeah? When you get drunk, you get a hangover. When you know Jesus, there's no hangover. You can know him more and more, and there is no hangover. <coughs> yeah. Pardon? No, I'm saying if you get drunk, you get a hangover. But when you believe in Jesus, there's no hangover. He'll change you. He'll change your life. He'll change your way. He'll change you, my friend. No, I'm not about Jesus. Believing in Jesus, trusting in Jesus, and having faith in Jesus, He will change you and He will make you anew in your life. Any, anybody else want to ask a question? Anybody want to ask? My arguments are, uh, he says my arguments are invalid. Number one, he's never countered them with any other arguments. <laughs> Anti-intellectual, if you're going to debate, bro, if you're going to debate, you got to say why my arguments are no good. It's no good strawmanning me. It's no good not just strawmanning me, but ad hominem attacking me as a person. I give you arguments, information in the DNA. Knock it down, bro. Come on. Let's say the atheists knock it down. Come on, bro. We're waiting for the atheists. Come on. They can't do it. Go on, then, bro. Do you want to drop the mic? Where's the mic? Mike, for the atheists. Give the atheists the mic. There we are. Don't break it. Don't break it. Just come over here. Come over here. Over here. Over here. Right. You counter the arguments of the atheists. What's your argument? Right. I'll give you the argument. I'll give you the argument from. I give you the argument from information. So you debunk it. Right. So this is guy. Who does he think he is, first of all? He is simply trying to fill a void that we don't know with God. So, what I bring to you, my good fellow, the lack of evidence for existence is proof of non-existence. The fact that we have not seen God, and you simply have to rely on faith and not fact, completely inhibits your entire argument that God exists. He says, he says, we've not seen God, and because we've not seen God, there's no evidence of God. 
Let me ask you a question. Have we seen logic? Yes. No, we haven't seen logic. Is logic material or immaterial? Logic, logic is not a tangible substance. Amen. Logic is immaterial. But you claim God wait, wait, is a tangible Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. No, no. The argument was that we can't see God and therefore there is no God. We can't see logic. Logic is immaterial. But we believe. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Let me finish. 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 Bro, let me finish. Let me finish. You cannot see logic. Okay? Seek help. Seek help. Ad hominem, sir. Ad hominem. Be respectful. Right. Jesus Christ died on that cross. You don't need wacky backy, you don't need drugs, you don't need sex outside of marriage. What you need is Jesus Christ who died on the cross. Do you want to bring another point? Do you want to bring... I answered your point. Let, let me answer your point. The atheist, most atheists, let me answer the point. Sir, sir, let me answer the point. Most atheists, not all, but most atheists believe all that exists is the material. Now logic is immaterial. Right? So that destroys atheism, right? What I'm telling you is that you know there is a God. Is lying wrong? Hands up if you believe lying's wrong. Would you like your girlfriend to lie to you? The fact that you know right and wrong is a proof there is a God. You know what's right, you know what's wrong, and you know that one day there's going to be a judgment day. One day Christ is going to die on that cross. My website and my YouTube channel is jasonburnspreacher.com and you can see me debate Muslims and atheists in Hyde Park in London, Speaker's Corner. If you want to Google by my name, jasonburnspreacher.com. Now, anybody else? Anybody want to ask another question? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what, 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 just tell me what your position is. Okay, yeah, go on. I just want to share something. Um, 18 years ago, I, my special needs daughter was born to me. Um, but on the age of two, she had a fit. She had a 16 hour fit. Uh, she got taken into hospital and um, there was no hope. She was deteriorating by the minute. Um, she put her life support machine and the doctor said her daughter's going to die. So I said to my wife, this is too much for me. So I picked a slate up off the floor and started to call me Mrs. Got to end it all. But my wife's a Christian. I said, let's go and pray about this. So we went in the room and we prayed for my daughter called Phoebe. David Jackson will care of you. And we um, both were in the room and we had to make a decision. Will you do us a favour? Will you just walk round and get them all on, the, on camera? All the people. Sorry. So we didn't know what to do. We said all we could do is pray. So we prayed to God. Just walk around and get them all. We said, God, if you will, do something. And the very minute we prayed that prayer, we heard a voice in the room. And suddenly everything changed from sadness to excitement. And we both heard the voice that said, it's going to be okay. We read the Bible. So I said to my wife, you write down the card what you heard. I'll write down the card what I heard. And we both want the same thing, God spoke to me, he said your daughter's going to be okay. So we went ahead with the procedure, and within ten minutes of doing it, she woke up out of her own country, and she just woke up in the time when she was 18. God is real. I want to say God is real. I want to say my daughter that people love me. You say God's rubbish, God's this, God's that. I don't put my daughter's life on the line. I've done the full circle. You say God's rubbish. I've been right God round and I've used all, all your thoughts and thinking you. Has he had me to tell you he's a spiritual killer? I just want to say that God is real, God is really my life. And the only way you'll get to know God is to pray and put your trust in him. So, Amen. 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 Yeah, do you want to give your testimony? Yeah, if you've got mine. Yeah, well, just put it on your... Cheers, guys. See you later. Yeah, that way, that way.
Yeah, yeah. Just, just tell me about how Jesus changed your life. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Quick, quick, quick. Right, lad. Yo, can anyone hear me? Yeah, this is, I'm from Manchester, me, lads, yeah? I'm from the streets, yeah? I was like, every other guy, when it was an 8 or 5 job, I was the opposite. I was a full man, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. My last time, yeah. In October last year, I had a stroke. I saw it. I had a stroke last year. And you saw it in the chapel, but for the wrong reasons. And you saw it in the chapel, looking for whatever they could get their hands on to be brought on drugs. Up until last year, I thought Jesus was a sort of an old mother tale kind of thing. Yeah? No one's ever met him, no one's ever just heard about him, the guy that's lost his life. This is. You're right. Yeah, this is what it's like. That's why I need a team. I like a dandy cat. Welcome version. aboard, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen the men's the hotel actually save his prison. He says he's dead there. Do you want? Yeah. If he's smoking that whack and back again. Yeah. Right. Two days later, I've got worse. But obviously, on the left side of the face, it's dropped. Now I can't move my left arm on the left leg. Yeah, I was, I was handicapped, triple, can I get a word out? I went to a chapel group before this bank Bible study. About five inmates and a few staff put their hands on the back and prayed for them. Two days later, they're like a man quickly eat, feeling on the back. That's the tip. Put a t-shirt on, it's like burning sensation. Uh, Two of them is uh, praying in tongues. You know what tongues is? Luke, like speaking, <laughs> if you want to speak, you go yeah. to him and just take the mic when you want to take it. Then. A month after that, I started getting a bit of words out. Yeah, I couldn't walk. Now, it's 19 months on. I was talking to you, walking to you, and I could run on this mid. So the big man, the big man, he's dropped off. Yeah? He's there, yeah? But you, you know, you might just stay clean, man. You to give your sins, mate. Yeah? You know what I mean? Obviously, I've got to now me to do what I've done, yeah? I've got an extra favour. Every morning I take my Bible reading. Right? You alright, love? Jesus, yeah. Yeah. Jesus. God bless you. God bless you, man. Are you alright? Like you had a good day? I don't pray yeah. like right. I don't know the guy. It's just free if you want to take anything off. Yeah. 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 It's nice to see you anyway. It's interesting hearing people. Yeah. Yeah. Before you fall, you do your hair on your head, mate. I got a medal from um, Baseball dogs and we have a a Yeah, a a Hey man, yeah. hey man, look. So you want to take it? Please, please, they can leave you up, get involved, whatever change you get to, and see the good news, man. Oh. Please, God. Hey man. It's team leader, he's a team leader, yeah. Keep going. 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 Keep Just take whatever, yeah. 
Thank you. 